the power. Yes. <laughs> I feel like my level of sexiness just went up. <laughs> it does have that effect. Yeah. Oh, the power. Yes. <laughs> nice 12 cylinder, which you're not going to see many more of those cars around anymore. No. This is my first ride in it. Yeah? Cylinder. Absolutely. And there's no power steering. Okay, a rise. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, a good little workout in the meantime. <laughs> Is that how you stay in shape? Yeah, exactly. Just drive bad ass cars. <laughs> What do you love about driving this car? I just love these old cars because I can do, what are we doing, like 30? Yeah. But it's still so engaging. Yeah, it is. And right. there's just something about bonding with your car. So, uh, what's her name? This is Big Bird. Ah. Because <laughs> we got another yellow Ferrari, which uh -huh. we're going to call Little Bird. Uh -huh. and, I don't know. Super cheesy. But. <laughs> I definitely feel like with these newer cars, we are stepping away from the thrill of the ride. Well, Aventadors, Hurtmans, new Ferraris, they're great. They're amazing feats of technology, but you are losing so much of the engagement. You know, talking about how a lot of people don't know how to drive stick shift. Oh man, is that crazy? So you're missing out on yeah. getting to know your car yeah. and Getting to you know know how to drive sure. properly, like this car has no power steering. It's a pain, <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for yeah. anything because it's it's an experience and it brings a smile to your face and you don't have to be driving crazy. Brian was saying earlier you took an F40 cross country and I did drive. many many years ago. We had restored the car and took it on a rally from New York to LA in wow. five days by yourself. No, I was with friends. With friends. Yeah. We were driving by yeah. ourselves. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to find that way to keep the younger, upcoming enthusiasts, keeping them engaged yeah. with older cars and teaching them how to drive manual transmissions. And Haggerty, you know, has a great program where you can go learn to really? drive a manual transmission on a closed racetrack. They're trying to keep that culture yes. alive. Yes. which I think is important, you know, and just engaging younger people, you know, about working on cars and the restoration process, because we don't want to lose all these older generations that are unfortunately dying and just losing their knowledge. And how do we keep that part of this car culture yeah. alive and well? Yeah. And we just need more people to learn. Was your dad a car guy? No. 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 Was your mom a car girl? No. no. I grew up on a ranch in Colorado. Wow. So I'm not sure exactly where they from. Um, yeah. Like I said, I was just always, when we would go somewhere, I, I want to buy a Hot Wheels car. I didn't really care. <laughs> Cars and Coffee Exposed, presented by Eurable, the number one rated app for automotive detailers. If you want the best customer experience from your detailer, Make sure they're powered by your Rabel. Subscribe now and never miss an episode of Cars and Coffee Exposed.